its 16th of November. This war, in addition to the return by Ukraine of all the occupied territories and the final transformation of Russia into a miserable, humiliated backyard of a civilized world, will have another important outcome. Ukraine will forever get rid of a nightmarish inferiority complex imposed by Moscow. It is quite common practice for colonial powers to inspire the inhabitants of the conquered territories with a sense of their own second rate, to convince them that the culture, language and history of the conquerors are much more refined and interesting. After the collapse of colonial empires, this husky of inferiority complex usually falls down. But in Ukraine, this process has not been ended. Firstly, because the Soviet colonial empire collapsed not so long ago, if viewed from the historical perspective. And secondly, because until quite recently, Russia managed to push its colonial narrative through television programs, films, books, pop music. Many Ukrainians really believed that Russian culture is more complex and diverse, that Ukrainians are a nation of peasants, not poets, that real recognition comes only to wars cultural figures who are oriented towards the Russian market and think of themselves within the Russian space. For years, musicians, artists, directors and journalists have traveled from Ukraine to far richer Russia, thereby only emphasizing the death of this colonial inferiority complex. Even the occupation of Crimea and the start of the war in Donbass in 2014 did not completely uproot the idea of Russian culture as something higher and more important. Many Ukrainians continued to watch Russian TV shows, read Russian detective stories, listen to their pop singers. The omnipresence of Russian product supported the myth of the superiority of Russian culture. Russian propaganda directly said, to be Ukrainian is shameful and ugly. It is much better to be Russian because Russians are the successors of a great history and bearers of a wonderful culture. But in fact, these successors and bearers turned out to be murderers and robbers. People who claim to be representatives of highly cultured nation still used underwear from Ukrainian closets and are surprised that in our villages is a warm toilet and shower in every house, and the whole of Ukraine, the whole world sees it. The inferiority complex will leave the Ukrainians forever. After the war, it will be a nation of titans who crushed the meanest and cruelest of the tyrants of our time, and this complex will move to where it belongs. It will be built into the minds of wars who until recently spoke about their unsurpassed greatness and now they take away bread and toys from children and wear panties stolen from Ukrainians. Great nation, great culture, right?